Today we're here, we're in Allen, Texas. I'm Thorne Bradley, Pro Steps athlete. We're gonna hit chest in here today. I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips on how to build a barrel chest. I usually like to go without the handles for the incline fly. Something about pushing through the thumbs there on an incline helps me get into that upper clavicular area. Really get better tension up there. Not bouncing, not moving fast. We're just keeping up real under control for all 20 reps. And the reason why my feet are up on the bench isn't just for looks. When I bring my feet up, my low spine stays flat on the back of the bench. We're not using the incline press as our heavy press. We're actually gonna use this as our precursor into a heavier press. So today we're gonna put our index fingers on the bar. When we press, we're gonna open up. It's gonna hit much better on that upper pec, but you need to make sure that you start light, get a feel for the movement before you load up the bar too heavy. For me, this will be a warm up first set of 10. Here we go. I can already feel that upper chest starting to cramp up a little bit by putting those index fingers on the bar. Now, this isn't gonna be our main press today or, or our heaviest press, but it's damn sure gonna help get into the upper chest first. So our next exercise here is gonna be my heaviest press of the day. Obviously heavy is relative, but um, this is gonna at least feel like the heaviest movement of the day. We're gonna do a floor press. Um, I think it's important during your workout to understand it's not just picking movements for the sake of picking movements, but this one's got a different range of motion, obviously accentuating the top, and it allows me to safely load up for some rest pauses, which I'll explain in a minute. I like to find a squat rack that uh, clearly isn't the main squat rack in the gym when you're doing something like a floor press, if you can help it. That way, someone who needs to get their squats in isn't limited to doing them out in the open. Always. Always floor press with the large circumference weights. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get eight, rack the bar, wait 10 seconds, and then try to crank out three or four more reps. So as a rest pause, you're making sure the first amount is eight, rack it up, you're not done. Bring it back off the bar after 10, give it 10 seconds, then you're gonna get four again. Cut it in half, here we go. The next set, we're gonna work up to a heavy six. It may be the same weight, you know, sometimes you start to get fatigued and you gotta stay at the same weight. I think I could probably get away with adding 10 more. This one's gonna be six, 10 second break, three. The purpose of a rest pause is to try to find a way to take an amount of reps or an amount of weight that you can normally only do for six reps, turn it into nine. Load the muscle up. It's a way to overload without having a partner, without having someone to spot you. And of course on floor press, if you ever have to just ditch it, you can ditch it. It's a lot safer on the floor if you have the big weights on. And for our last set, it's gonna be four, 10 second break, two. Heaviest set of the day so far. Now, I'm obviously no power lifter, but had I started with bench, started with one of my compound movements, started with a barbell movement or even heavy dumbbells, I would have had to load up way more weight to get the same job done. So by leading with the flies, leading with some of the sort of more fatiguing work in the beginning, I don't need as much weight to get the same amount of work in. Last one, here we go. Four, rest, two. Today, on this next heavy fly slash press movement, we're going four sets of eight, five second hold at the bottom of every rep. Holding the tension in your muscle, try not to hold the tension in your joints. So although this is a press, I'm gonna stretch it out at the bottom like it's a fly. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of a tempo here. At the very furthest stretch position, I'm gonna hold it for a five second hold, explode back up. Slight incline once again, not fully inclined. Today we're gonna to finish up with these deficit push-ups. Try to stretch the chest as much as you can at the bottom. You don't need to dip all the way to the floor, but just go a little bit past parallel. You're gonna take every set of these to failure. And by failure, I don't mean crippling failure, I just mean to the point where you can't get another clean rep. I get one minute break, go again. 45 second break, go again. 
30 second break, go again. Chest workout done. That's it for our chest workout. I'm Thorin Bradley, Pro Steps athlete. I'd like to thank Hidden Gym for a killer place to work out today. I'll see you guys on the next one. I gotta go get some food and get out of here.